No matter what type of store you own, you know that presentation is the one major key that can make all the difference in the atmosphere of your store. The appropriate type of shelving not only makes your store look more professional, but it also makes your products look more desirable. Customers will automatically be drawn to your store if it looks as though you have put a lot of thought and effort into the presentation of your various products. Always take your time in choosing your display cases and shelves. Similarly in your home, the way you store your shoes talks a lot about how much you care about your favorite pieces. Do you store them here and there throughout the house or do you have a dedicated shoe storage? shelf or rack. A shoe storage shelf or rack is commonly used to store, hang or display footwear in homes or retail stores for the purpose of space efficient storage and to present footwear to customers. Shoe storage shelves and racks come in a variety of styles for different display purposes and footwear types. Hello hello dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have brought to you metal frame shoe rack design ideas for your inspiration. You can use these designs to make your own pieces at home. Watch the video until the end to never miss a thing and choose an inspiring design for your next project. You can even turn these plans or designs into a lucrative small scale manufacturing business with a small initial investment on basic tools and materials. If you are new to the channel and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing to our channel and smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when you upload new videos. If you are already a subscribed member, please like and share this video so that it could reach a wide range of audience. A shoe rack is a storage unit designed for holding shoes. Shoe racks may be freestanding to place inside a closet or may be built into a closet organizer system. The right type of rack for you depends on the number of shoes you have to store and where in your home you want to sh store the shoes. Many people who have a large shoe collection have built-in racks in their bedroom closet. Each rack may hold several pairs of shoes. Some shoe racks are slanted wooden boards that have a strip running across the back to rest the heels of the shoes on so that the shoes are displayed for easy selection. Other types of shoe holders are white metal stackable shelves that are either part of a closed shelving system or are part of a freestanding rack. With the shelf type, you can just place pairs of shoes on the shelf side by side. Some kinds of shoe racks have curved wire loops that you place the shoes over. A shoe rack is an alternative to shoe boxes. Clear acrylic shoe boxes that each hold one pair of shoes can be stacked anywhere and some people prefer to use these for shoes wore, not worn too often. Shoe boxes may be stored up high in a closet, while the racks are usually on the floor or at eye level to allow easy access to the shoes. Shoe racks can be added to entryway closets to avoid the clutter of shoes in the hallway, near the front or back door of a home. Some people like to keep a small shoe rack near doors to hold shoes worn daily and orgas shoes, while the loop type can typically be only used to hold shoes, shoe shelves can be used to store practically any form of roll of gift, wrapped to children's toys to extra pantry supplies. 
Freestanding racks usually fit into any type of closet and keep items organized and out of sight. There is no historical evidence of the first appearance of shoe racks or shoe cabinets. However, there are historical pictures from the beginnings of photography which show a shoe rack early on. Nowadays, the market for furniture and this also for shoe furniture has diversified greatly. Different types of construction, open, closed and different materials determine the picture. As an open system, the shoe rack allows direct viewing and easy access to the shoes. Shoe racks are used in the commercial sector and shoe shops and at trade fairs for the presentation of goods. The individual shelves can be installed flat or inclined toward the customer, in which case a small front edge prevents the shoes from sliding down. In the private sector, shoe racks are often set up in the hallway to accommodate the used shoes for everyday use on several levels and to save space. The open design without doors or flaps ensures a good exchange of air. Often the shoes stand on poles so that the air can circulate even better and also reach the soles from below so that even shoes that are wet dry quickly. Some shoe racks are integrated into a shoe bench. The shoes can be placed and stored on the shelves under the seat, while the bench makes it easier to put on the shoes. Although most shoe racks stand on the floor, there are also hanging shoe racks, particularly in the case of space problems. The structures attached to the upper edge of the apartment doors can accommodate the shoes in a space-saving manner. The shoe carousel is a special form of the shoe rack. It consists of a central road of variable length that is clumped between the floor and the ceiling. Several rotatably mounted ring-shaped elements are attached to the road each of which has numerous receptacles onto which the shoes are individually attached with the sole facing outwards. The distance between the rotatable elements can be varied in many shoes car carousels and adapted to the size of the shoes. Sometimes there are special mounds for boots. The shoe carousel affords space for many shoes in a small space. A key advantage of closed shoe cabinets is that the shoes are only visible when the cabinet is opened. This results in a more homogeneous overall picture when the shoe cabinet is combined with other cabinets to form a clock room. If you have a large number of shoes, you have to remember where the shoes are, otherwise you will have to open all the doors or flaps to find the right pair. Many shoe cabinets have openings for ventilation, nevertheless, wet shoes must not be kept in the closets immediately after use, but must first be dried and aired, as otherwise there could be an odor and in the worst case, mold. Shoe cabinets are therefore particularly suitable for shoes that are not always needed. In principle, shoes can be stored in any closet with shelves. Most cloakroom lockers have a depth between 34 and 39 cm to accommodate the shoe lengthwise. For narrow hallways, however, there are also shoe cabinets with revolving doors that can be opened to the side and are less than 20 cm deep. On the back of the door, there are receptacles or storage compartments in which the shoes can be hung or placed upright. 
Because of their shallow depths, taller cabinets are attached to the wall to prevent them from tipping over. The shoe tipper, which has one or more flaps on the front that can be folded down, is widespread. One or more tilt compartments are attached to the flap. Usually, the storage compartments can be further subdivided using variably arranged dividing boards and the compartment size can be varied. The shoes can be placed upside down and stored in the compartments. In Eastern cultures in particular, it is common to take off your street shoes in the apartment and change them to slippers. In Japan, therefore usually a shoe cabinet or getabako made of wood or bamboo in the entrance area or genkan. The name getabako are derived from the words geta, Japanese cloak, and hako, box. This usually also contains slippers for guests. Shoe cabinets are not only found in the private sector but also in schools, kindergartens and sometimes in hotels and restaurants. In the Islamic religion, it is customary to pray on the carpeted floor to avoid contamination of the floor of mosque shoes are taken off at the entrance accordingly there are often shoe racks for storage in the entrance area Well, dear viewers, as you can see in the video, we have compiled a number of interesting metal frame shoe rack design ideas for your inspiration. Which one is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comment section. By now, you know that our channel is full of inspiring videos which you can use in your projects from time to time. If you like our content, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. 
and also smash the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.